Yo, what's up, everybody? Mike from True Business. And today, I guess you could say that Packers playoff chances are in jeopardy. Aaron Rodgers reportedly has basically requested a trade. He's basically severing all ties with the Green Bay Packers. So there's a lot of different reports basically all saying the same thing. The most recent one, the Packers reportedly told Aaron Rodgers they were going to trade him in the offseason. Okay, so Aaron Rodgers thought he was going to get a trade. His, his contract's coming to an end. Then they backed off and said, we're not trading you anymore. I mean, he's the MVP, so I wouldn't recommend trading him either. It's been a, you know, not that good of a relationship between them ever since. And within the last week, Aaron Rodgers told the team, trade or no trade, bum, 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 I'm not coming back. Whoo! All right, things are heating up between these two sides, and me and Dan have differing opinions. Now, Dan, he's studying for his finals in chemistry. He is unavailable right now, but guess what? I was texting Dan about it. I was like, yo, there's no way Aaron Rodgers is actually getting traded. It's, it's draft day. We got Tim Tebow playing receiver for the Jaguars. And Aaron Rodgers reportedly wants to trade. There's no way this is even like true. It's just draft day fake news, basically. And there's other reasons as well. So today, I'm going to say why I think Aaron Rodgers won't be traded. I give him a 10% chance to not be on the Packers next year. And Dan, I have his reasons. I'll show you them later. Starting off with why he's not going to get traded. All right, it's literally draft day. There's going to be a ton of different outlets, media, you know, different different accounts trying to spread fake news, build, you know, get some sports news buzzing. There's a reason that the Jaguars can't just announce their first overall pick as soon as the draft starts. They want to build some suspense. And is it coincidental that this happens today? No. Now, is Aaron Rodgers unhappy with the Packers? I would believe that. I definitely think so. If you've watched every, if you watch his Pack McAfee interviews with um on his YouTube channel, they're actually really insightful. I think that Aaron Rodgers is definitely going to be in the NFL next year. Dan, Dan believes that Aaron Rodgers is going to retire to be the Jeopardy host potentially or play for the 49ers. Now, he's not gonna retire. I that's just I'm eliminating that option. Yeah, he's not gonna, you know, he wants to, he likes Jeopardy. He said he would like being the Jeopardy full-time host, but he ain't giving up his salary in football and one of his favorite hobbies, basically, to go be Jeopardy host. So he also told Pat McAfee he thinks he can play for seven more years in the league. Seven more years. I, I, he's got some more left in the tank. Seven more years, is that an exaggeration? I don't know. But definitely for a couple more years, he should be good. So hmm, where could he go? The Broncos, the Panthers, the 49ers even? All three of those teams are a possibility. But if the Packers do decide to trade him, It'll be the biggest overreaction in draft day history. They have to see if they can fix their relationship, similar to what the Texans are doing with Deshaun Watson. Now, Deshaun Watson, that might be too far to come back from, but I think that this one definitely has a chance. Another reason I don't think he's going to go, Aaron Jones literally took a big pay cut to stay with the Green Bay Packers. Now, the reason he took a pay cut, in my opinion, not only does he like the organization, but he thinks it can be a winning team heading forward in the future. Now, does he think that they're going to be a winning team with Mac Jones? That probably wasn't his intention. He probably thinks Aaron Rodgers is going to stay. So therefore, I do too. Now, Daniel, what does Dan text me? Here it is. Now, Dan believes that the 49ers potentially might trade away their third round pick and some future first rounders to, to acquire Aaron Rodgers. He also thinks that it's, you know, the relationship is so bad, the Packers and Aaron Rodgers. He thinks that Rodgers doesn't want to return at all in 2021, which Aaron Rodgers supposedly did say that. You know, like I read, he doesn't want to come back no matter what to the Packers. I think that's a lot of BS. I think that it's a negotiation tactic, in my opinion. But Dan, is, is he's, enti you know, he's entitled to his opinion. Let me know what you guys think down below. Which one of us is right? Is Aaron Rodgers going to be on the Packers next year? Is he going to be on a different team next year? Or is he retiring and hosting Jeopardy? Or retiring and hanging out with his new wife? What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Smash the subscribe button. And thanks for watching.